So this boy took advantage of this. In a second narration, which is more authentic and it is in the Quran, it is said that the nephew was poor and the man did not have any inheritance. So according to Sharia, the nephew was the one supposed to be the heir. But he found that the uncle was living for too long. He had reached an advanced age and he was not passing away. So he said, let me help you out here. So he tried to rush by killing the uncle. And then he was so sly that he not only wanted the wealth, but he wanted to get the ransom money also, which is a hundred camels, which is a lot of money. So all in all, he planned this plot and <clears throat> after planning the plot, he not only killed the uncle and disposed his body between two cities that were next to each other and which had some issues with each other. But he also went running around shouting, saying, someone has killed my uncle. Help me find the murderer. So he, he was trying to throw suspicion of himself, what they call a smoke screen. So people of both cities, because the uncle was from one city, and the body was found near the other city. So enmity started rising up. Sorry for that. So before anything erupted, some elders said, Why are we fighting? Wafina Musa. Wafina Nabiyun. And we have a prophet, we have Musa alayhi salam amongst us. And Musa is supposed to be Kalimullah. <clears throat> Kalimullah means that he used to speak to other Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without any intermediary, one on one. He was blessed with this characteristic of speaking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without an intermediary. So they approached Musa alayhi salam. And they have been trained such that any small issue, the people used to approach their prophet. Today also, in those of us, mashallah, who still adhere to Islam, or even if not to Islam, but to our tribes, whenever we have an issue, we approach our sheikhs and our elders and our religious clergy. And those of us, may Allah forgive us, who have swayed and become materialistic, we approach our politicians. So there is a figure that we look up to, be it religious, tribal, political, or cultural. But there are some figures amongst us that whenever we hit a dead end, we know that such and such a person or such a council of elders will help us solve this issue. So they approached Musa alayhi salam. So Musa alayhi salam spoke to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah said, tell them to slaughter a cow. Tell them to slaughter a cow. Now it will have been enough if they had taken any cow and slaughtered it and followed the instructions. But because of that inquisitiveness some people have, there are some people who are always critical of others, there are some people who are always pessimistic, and there are some people who will just ask questions just to sort of be seen. That's why they say, a wise man speaks when he has something to say, and a fool speaks because he has to say something. 
A wise man speaks because he has something to say. A fool speaks because he has to say something. So, they started asking, be more specific, what type of cow? Now the word baqara usually is suffice The word Baqara speaks for both genders. Although there is the other word for it. But when you say Baqara, it just means cow and bull together. Any of the two. It's not gender specific. But they started saying, what type of cow? Can you be more specific? So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, إِنَّهَا بَقَرَةٌ لَا فَارِدٌ وَلَا بِكْرٌ لَا فَارِدٌ وَلَا بِكْرٌ It is a heifer that has not given birth and is just taken on a dollar. Adulthood. It has not given birth. It is still a maiden, yet it is not a kid. So it has just matured. Awanum bayna dalika fafalum adumarun. After that, choose and do what you have been instructed. They were still not satisfied, and they said, "Qal adulana Rabbi ka yubayil lana ma launuha." Come on, tell us the color. So Allah said, okay, let me tell you the color. Inna baqaratun safra. Now the word safra stands for dark tan yellow color. To get a dark tan yellow color is almost impossible. Not brown, not black, not white. These are cows that are common. This is dark tan yellowish. For those of us, if you remember during your days, we had the KCC gold crown, milk packets, which were yellow. That was the cow that was being specific, which is almost rare. So they made life difficult for themselves. That's why I told, don't ask too many questions unless you are just trying to gain knowledge. So they are told, first and foremost, a heifer that has just matured, hasn't given birth. They said, no, give us the color. They said, okay, dark tan yellow. They were still not satisfied. Ask your Lord. He has confused us. You confuse yourselves. You are told slaughter a cow. He's telling us which cow. You are told which cow. He's telling saying which color. Now you are saying we have been confused. So Allah said, okay. Wa inna insha Allah la muhtadun. The ulama mufassirin say that if they had not said wa inna insha Allah la muhtadun, they would have never found that cow. 